Today I urge New York State and Assembly to pass the fraud tax bill before the current session is included. Here in Nassau County, our residents pay a staggering 130% more than the rest of the country for auto insurance. 130% more than the rest of the country. And this is largely due to no fault insurance fraud. There is a bill pending before the legislature up in Albany that will strengthen those laws and make the penalties more severe for doctors and criminals who defraud our insurance system and drive up the cost of insurance. And today we take a stand. The insurance in Nassau County, Nassau County drivers pay an average of 53% more for their auto insurance than drivers across the nation. 53% more. It's absurd. And the uh, independent agencies have looked at this issue and have concluded it's largely due to fraud. There's a bill again. The fraud tax bill will increase penalties on criminals who cheat the no-fault system. Decertify any medical provider who commits insurance fraud and give insurances more time to investigate the fraud. These are the tools that we need to get our insurance rates under control here in Nassau County. 53% more than the national average. It's absurd. Criminals are driving up the cost of insurance and now we have a chance with the bill in New York State to bring some sanity to this system to reduce costs for our drivers and get our economy moving. So it is very important that we join together. We urge our state officials to pass the no fraud bill. It is that important. I'm proud to be here with a group that's taking the message to the people. And uh, I would like to introduce Ray Lieber. Ray Lieber believes it's now it's time to cut the unfair fraud tax and put people to New York first because that's exactly what this criminal activity amounts to. A fraud tax on the people that has driven up rates 53% more than any other driver in the nation, than the average driver in the nation. It's crazy here in New York. It's crazy that this has gone on and it's time to stop it. And I'm thrilled that Ray Lieber is here, the executive director of New York to stand against insurance fraud. Ray, please, uh, Thank you. Uh, first, I'd like to thank County Executive Mangano for uh, hosting this, this uh, press conference. N uh, New Yorkers Standing Against Insurance Fraud is, in fact, a grassroots organization. Uh, we are about people, we are about drivers in New York State who are sick and tired and fed up of paying the high cost of auto insurance. Uh, and we're sick and tired of, of learning every day that we're paying these high costs because of insurance fraud. And while we are a grassroots organization, there's, there's no way that we can get the word out to the entire state of New York without having our government leaders join us in support of, of this very important initiative. So once again, I want to thank County Executive Mangano for taking his time to join us to help bring attention uh, to this incredibly important issue that literally affects every single driver in New York State. As, as County Executive said, uh, New Yorkers pay 53% more in insurance premiums than the rest of the country. We, in Nassau County alone, we are paying 130% more than the rest of the state. And even in the Bronx, even, they're paying six times more than the national average. Something has to stop. If something doesn't stop, if, there, if something isn't done about this, then we're going to have, not only are our premiums going to continue to skyrocket, but it's going to get to the point where New York State becomes a bad place for insurance companies to do business. And we can't afford that. Because if insurance companies start to pull out, there's no doubt that our rates are going to skyrocket, even more than they already are now. And, and that is absolutely unsustainable. I, I appreciate the support that we have of law enforcement, uh, of District Attorney Charles Hines, other District Attorneys in, in, in uh, the City of New York, and other organizations like Fraud Cost New York that are, that are backing uh, this effort. Uh, it's, and I don't know that people understand. They, they look at their bill and they think insurance is, oh, well, insurance is just high and we just have to pay it. The fact is, you go to the pump, you go, you go to fill up gas these days, the price of gas is rising. It's over $4 a gallon. It, who knows? It may, it may be approaching $5 by the time we, 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 the summer comes. And that's, that's something that, that we really can't do much about here on the state level uh, is, is the cost, is the high cost of gasoline. But New York State has the power 
to stop this fraud tax. So it seems as if uh, Nashua County is paying exceedingly much higher than the statewide average. What's going on here specifically? Is there a higher reported uh, incidence of this kind of no fraud accidents in Nashua County? Well, we believe one of the major uh, contributing factors are, is fraud. Perhaps uh, you know our uh, median wealth here, being a wealthy county, is the right uh, place to commit fraud. I'm not certain, but obviously it's uh, it's been uh, identified as a factor in our higher insurance rates, being 130 percent above the. Uh, County average here in New York State. Uh, we have an independent uh, review body that has come, has analyzed and come up with these suggestions. The Insurance Institute has uh, substantiated the uh, figures that we put out here today. We provide you with that. Do we have numbers on the total number of incidents in Nassau County? Yeah, we, we can certainly get them. Okay, so the executive director will give you those facts and figures. Yes? How long has um, fraud been going on and when did the investigation start? You know, when these things going on, a long, long time. Okay. David Schwartz. Thank you, Mr. County Executive. Uh, I'm David Schwartz. I represent NYSAFE. Um, the, the bottom line is no-fault fraud has been going on for a long time since the no-fault system was put into effect. The no-fault system was, was, was put into effect to take the fault out of the system and to move cases quicker so patients could get the medical care that they needed. Instead, we had these criminal enterprises pop up between medical mills, and I hate to say it attorneys, I'm a lawyer, but there are colleagues in the profession that are part of these criminal enterprises, runners and whatnot, put together these criminal enterprises to game the system. And in recent years, no-fault fraud has gone up to unsustainable levels. And the New York City court system right now, which affects what we pay out here on Long Island, there are 270,000 cases pending in the New York City court system. That, that number by the New York State Insurance Department and by OCA, the Office of Court Administration, is going to go up to 700,000 cases if we don't do anything about it. And that's why the county executive is standing up here today, you know, taking a stand, and, and we thank you so much against no fault fraud. So what was the red flag? What was the first red flag? What's that, I'm sorry? What was the first red flag? The first red flag? Well, we've had, as far as no-fault fraud popping up, yeah. well, we've had cases. There have, the cases have gone up. I said there were 270,000 cases. Just a few years ago, there were about 130,000 cases, and there were less before that. The prosecution of these cases has been lax, and that's why DA Hines uh, and, and the Bronx DA is also, they're going to take a, a much stronger stand on these cases. But we need the legislation to put an end to the gaming of the system. Hi, sorry, I forgot. I had one more question for anybody. Sure. Um, Thank you, David. Thank you. For what tax bill goes through, which I hope it does, um, what will be the exact penalty for one of these criminals? Yep. It's gonna. What's gonna happen is it's gonna go up. To, we're gonna be in felony land as opposed to misdemeanor land. So now we're gonna have felony, which has, as you know, has some teeth, and we have uh, motivated district attorneys who are going to prosecute these cases to the fullest extent possible. The big problem is it takes a while to investigate these cases, and the DAs have limited budgets, so they need. They need more money to be able to investigate these cases so they can save the state more money. So in felony terms, how many years are these criminals looking at? Oh yeah, these, these criminals could be looking at two and a third to seven years in jail on a first arrest. Thank you. Okay, well thank you all for coming today and support the bill.